it looks like a real life video game. The edited on screen graphics make it real convincing. As you play Call of Duty, stuff like that, it's basically real life Call of Duty. What they're using to shoot each other are called airsoft guns, essentially toy guns that look like the real deal. The worst you'll get is a little red mark on your skin at the end of the day that goes away after a couple days. Daniel Gostelski is representing Manitoba in a national effort to reverse Bill C-21. Airsoft enthusiasts across the country are concerned with the wording of the new federal gun bill that could prohibit replica firearms and specifically mentions airsoft guns. An online petition against the bill is also growing. It would end uh, hundreds of businesses and thousands of jobs across the country. Last week, Winnipeg police chased down a man believed to be armed with a gun and found this replica. You can't tell. There is simply no way to tell and the wrong decision will get somebody killed. While police didn't specifically comment on the airsoft industry or the bill, Winnipeg's police chief recently tweeted about the topic, saying, in 2020, WPS seized 215 replica guns that were used to commit crimes. Maybe Bill C-21 is onto something. Go! But unlike criminals, enthusiasts say they just want to have fun. We uh, want to save our sport. That's, that's our main, main focus. The Department of Justice hasn't responded to a request for comment. Joe Scarpelli, Global News.